let's start with logging to the system. You go to our website to www.didalia.com and on the home page you will see login. Click on it. I was already logged in, so I'm in the system already. Let me log out and show you. So again, I'll go to didalia.com, click on login. On the previous video, you could see how you create your own account. So I assume when you see this video, you already registered. So use the same username and password used when you created the account. Username, password, and login. When you log in, you will see the system dashboard where it gives you an, an, kind of an, an idea of where you are, how many wallets you're using, how many passes are ad, out there, some of them are issued already, some of them are just created, and so on and so forth. Over time, the more you will use the system, the more you will understand this dashboard better, but at least it gives you an idea of what you're billing, how many passes you have, what wallets, how many programs, how the programs are being used, and so on. I will show you right now how we're creating a new program, and later on I will show you the outcome, what your clients are going to get. So let's start by creating a new program. You create new. Click on the plus. There are three steps to create a new program. We are going to use the theme called offers when you can have deals, coupons, promotions. Once you choose the theme offers, click on step two. In this demo, we're going to create a template for florist. So let's call it florist. Offer. You can put a description um, so other people that maybe help you with the account will be understanding why you're creating this offer. You should say how long this campaign is going to run, let's say from now until Valentine's. And if you click here on local, for example, you will notice that there are lot long numbers coming in. This is the location of what you have in the account. When you created the account, you put an address. Why, once you do a local, then every client that's going to use this offer that you are right now creating on their mobile wallet, every time they go buy the address, it will pop up on their screen. So this is if you want location-based services, just click local. Here you should decide are you doing an item, a product, or a service kind of an offer. We do a product because it's flowers and it's under the shopping category. We're going to do 25% off, let's say 25% off roses. I can fill in the rest of the information for the offer. I can just have save and move to the step three and last in order to design this specific offer. And on step three, there are three levels. I can have, I can choose a pre-existing template. So if there is something you like, feel free to to pick it and and use it. Um, and then you, and then if you like if you like it as is, just go to the content and update the text. Just put your own text. If you don't like the template, you should create your own. So let me show you. Let's let I will create our own. And in order to create my own, I will start with this as basic, but let's change the colors and what I want to do. You know what? Let me go back and actually take a whole empty template. So when you get in, you get an empty template. If you don't want to pick anything from here, just don't click. If you want to pick something, just click it and it will come over and you can work on top of it. I will start from a just a brand new clean template to show you everything from, from the beginning. So we're doing a florist. So I will start with 
the colors and the images. Let's start with the strip image. Where is my florist pictures? Here it is. So here I have this in the image. I'll put uh, some kind of a green. green color okay I can use the same for the title bar on the title bar text I will put black and this can be green as well but let's try go to a dark green Okay, the reason I'm choosing the back color first is because uh, Apple Passbook and Google Wallet, they do not use background image. So if I will choose the background image first, it will, it will be hard for us to kind of map the colors. So that's why I'm trying to put the background color first. But it's up to you guys. You guys can decide how is it that you want to work. You can do white and change it later on. Now I will update the background image. This is my background image. Okay. Now on the back side, I can just leave it as is. I can remove the background image or I can upload my own back side background image. Again, Didalio is the only wallet that allow multiple images, but Google Wallet will not show this image and Passbook will not show this image. Okay. Then I can, let's use this screen, it's much nicer. And let's have white. Okay. Now the last thing is to change the content. I can come over here and do just a um, florist cell or flower cell here you can put either you will inherit the merchant name from your account or you just change it you put your name here you can decide to keep the same fields as the templates provide to you like discount leave it as discount but if for example I don't want to have deal price so I'm going to choose item and I can put the item will be roses okay then when I flip over I can say I can either just follow original price and just fill in the fields accordingly as this template suggesting or I can go ahead and put anything I would like to. I can, if there isn't a pre existing field that I want to use, I'll use it here because I can say which brand I want to use. If I don't want to use a pre existing field, I can just piggyback on this field and just put whatever I want. For example, I use brand, but I can do, I can do parking. Use the parking next to us. And we will validate your ticket. Okay? You can fill in everything. You can leave it as is. Up to you. And you can put really a lot of information. If you have something from your website that you want to do copy-paste into here to the highlights, go ahead and do that. You can really put a lot of information. Here, let me give you an example. Let me copy this. And I will go back, and on the highlights, I will put this. Okay, that's enough. Once I'm done, so okay, let me look how it looks. Great. I like it. If you're happy with this, after preview, you're done. You go to build audience. And what's happening now is we actually 
creating the passes. We make passes. It's what going to end up in your client's choice of mobile wallet, and we will make sure that your client can get it in multiple options. They can get it over an email or SMS um, by if I send it. Let's say I send it to me, and I'll do plus. And I send it to me over an email. When I do run, 